Ronald asks us to look at how to record nature sounds. In this episode, we'll be going out into the wilderness and looking how to record nature sounds. We'll look at the equipment and I'll give you professional tips on how best to record your effects. Simple steps to perfection. Check the weather. Make sure you have the right clothing and food and drink. Consider what it is you're recording. Is it the right time of year to say, record a cuckoo? Do your research. Google where you need to be to get the best results and talk to the locals. I've always found that anglers have a brilliant insight into what's going on around the vicinity as they have the time and the interest to reflect on what's going on around them. Check your gear. Are your batteries charged? Bring a power bank or two. Make sure all your leads are working the night before you drive a thousand miles into the desert. You don't want to find one of your leads is not working when you're out in the field. Next, decide on your equipment. If you have to hike to a site, you don't want to be lugging masses of gear around all day. Recording is a very varied thing. You really need to focus on the specific kit. You'll need to capture the sounds that you want. Do you need to get close to your subject or would a basic field recorder do? I'd hate to have to record a pack of lions feasting on a carcass if I only had an XY field recorder. Consider a shotgun mic for the lion situation or even hide a radio mic in the carcass. Or if you can't afford to have it eaten, hidden close by. Shotgun mics and radios allow you to get closer to your subject whilst you are at a distance and not disturbing the subject. Which brings us to proximity. When recording natural sounds, proximity is everything. For specific subjects such as animals or birds, you'll need to get as close as you can to capture the noise of the subject as clearly as possible. You will really need to use your ingenuity here and come up with ideas and devices to record your subject without scaring them off. When recording inanimate things such as streams or rocks, you're generally in the driving seat. Again, proximity is terribly important because you need to consider your subject. Recording a stream, for example, the further you are away from the stream, you're now capturing the surrounding ambience and not enough of the subject. If you're too close to the stream, then the noise might be too much for the listener's perception of that scene. When recording ambience, the world is your oyster. Proximity is everywhere. One significant thing to consider is where are your sound effects being played out? If you have a platform that can play out 3D audio, then would not be really fun to do a totally immersive experience for your listener. I'd really encourage you to try any sort of 3D audio equipment that you can beg, borrow or rent. It's so cool. And if you can play out 3D audio, you might consider binaural audio. Binaural sound records the sound from the perspective of your ears and attempts to put the listener into the space by giving them the perception of hearing that space as they would if they were standing there. I've got my Sennheiser smart headset, but there are other devices that record binaural. Again, see what you can do to have a play with any of these toys. If you're recording in stereo, then you should play with the different stereo modes. There are a few types of microphone configurations that are great for different styles of recording, and they all bring something different to their perception of the sound. You'll need a stereo bar. You can get stereo bars from a few companies, including Rycote and Rode. I got the one from Rode. They've got everything marked out on the bar, which saves you tons of time. The main stereo modes would be AB, XY, or TF. A, B are two mics pointing straight out, about 16 inches apart. Have a listen. X, Y is really common and it looks like this. The two mics are at 90 degrees to each other. Then my current favorite is ORTF, which looks like this. 
17 centimeters apart and an angle of 110 degrees. Have a listen. Recording natural sound is super satisfying. You're out in the natural surroundings and it causes you to interact with those surroundings. There are lots of things to consider and anything can go wrong at any time, but maybe that's part of the fun. Don't be reckless and don't put yourself in a position of danger. It's only sound recording. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, you can comment, or you can share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.